Welcome to your Tea Time Tip. I'm Terry Muscosi, Director of Instruction for Brown Golf here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today, we're going to be talking about three different bunker shots. A regular bunker shot, how to spin the ball out of the bunker, and then what happens when you get those awful, awful plug lines. So let's go over to the bunker and let's talk about how to be successful out of the green side bunker. Okay, I'm over in the green side bunker here at uh, Crescent Point Golf Club. And as you can see, I've, I've drawn an, an orange line in the sand. And when I was starting to learn bunker shots, I wanted to figure out how I could become a successful bunker player without changing my golf swing. So in my practicing, what I did was I stood back and I wanted to take some swings, my regular golf swing. And if I made my regular golf swing, I would contact the sand in front of that orange line. And if I contact it behind the orange line, then all of a sudden that becomes a fat shot. So when you hit that far back behind the line, then it's very difficult to get the ball out of the bunker. So as I went along, I said, okay, I can keep my regular golf swing. And so keeping my regular golf swing, I found that when I took and I made a full swing, all right, the ball went out of the bunker. It went a little bit on the longer side, but it still got out of the bunker. So what happened was I, I set myself up. This orange line then became the, the line that I would normally have if I were standing on the fairway hitting a golf shot. Now the golf club I tend to use almost exclusively out of the bunker is my 60 degree wedge. Very seldom will I get my sand wedge unless it's a long bunker shot. Most times it's a 60 degree, number one, because I have lots of loft and I have enough bounce on the bottom to go through, through the sand itself. So once I had this done, then I walked in and when I was practicing, I practiced with the orange line. And so now what I do is I say, how much swing do I need to carry the sand out of the bunker? Not the ball, the sand. So my swing was coming in. I set myself up as though the ball were positioned here. And as you can see, I've moved the ball, not quite a full golf club ahead of that line because I'm gonna be moving the sand out of the bunker onto the green. So this is what I would do with my normal golf shot. So I'd be catching the line first, then the sand, then the ball, and I'm taking it out of the bunker. And when I take the sand out of the bunker, the ball goes out of the bunker. Now, that's just a regular bunker shot, but someone says, you know, how do you spin the ball, Terry? Well, what I've done now is I've taken this ball and I've moved it closer to this line. So some of you have probably hit shots where you just sort of catch the ball a little bit first and the ball kills to the back of the green, but it's spinning. That's how we spin it. We sometimes will change the angle of the golf club just a bit, but most often I'll keep the 60 degree at a 60 degree. And then I walk in, set myself up again, like this were the normal ball position, ball very slightly in front of that, and then my swing won't be quite as long, might go about halfway, and then I'll catch it, and I move it, and the ball starts to spin, and now I still have this line here, but I got enough sand between the golf club and the ball to give that little abrasion, and that puts the spin on the shot. Now I run into a buried line. The ball position will be the same as a normal bunker shot. I set myself up. Now there's only one big change I make. I set up and I lean. Now once I lean, this is still my moving piece in golf. This is still my steady piece. So when I'm moving, the arm will tend to go more upright. And then it starts to come downward. Now because it's going downward, I won't finish the swing as much, but I will get below the sand, below the ball, and I take enough swing to get the ball out of the bunker, just onto the green, and then you cannot spin this, so the ball will tend to roll. So plan for the roll, and here's how we do it. Lean. Then I stay there and I make my about waist high is all I need. And that takes me below the sand, takes the sand out of the bunker, and the ball 
lands on the front part of the green and starts to roll. So hopefully what I look for is I don't short side myself and don't have any green to work with. So we've covered the bunker shot, regular bunker shot, about one club head width in front of the line that normally, that normally you would have if you were uh, out on a golf course. When I want to spin the ball, I move the ball closer to where the ball would have been if it were on the fairway. And then in a plug lie, I lean a bit, but I keep my swing intact. So that's how you're going to be able to handle bunker shots at any time that you're given, and you will then become a really good bunker player. See you next week.